What up folks, Alex here, Mr. Alex Tech. Welcome to this 5 Minute Friday video. And in this one, I'm gonna show you a little trick which I've only recently discovered myself, and that's how to turn any timeline into a multicam. Now that's cool because it allows you to multicam basically anything. So if you've got a couple of files that you want to sync up into a multicam, you can also add some additional images to it. You can add some additional videos, which usually wouldn't line up because they don't have the audio in there or whatever. You can create this timeline and then just turn it into a multicam. It's really, really cool. Now, the other big advantage of this is if you've got the dreaded multiple clips. So if your camera has that FAT32 limit, so you can only record up to four and a half gig or whatever it may be. So it splits all your clips into multiple clips. This is a really nice way of sorting that out so you can still create a multicam from that footage really quickly and easily. So let's open DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how to do it. So here we are within DaVinci Resolve, we're on the edit tab and I'm gonna show you the footage which I've got here. So first of all, I've got my A cam, which is just recording throughout the entire thing, just me getting ready and then doing this intro and the outro. And then I've got my B camera, but my B camera stopped recording halfway through and it split the file into two sections. So we're gonna to have to figure that out. And then we've also got the clean audio from my external microphone. And then we've got this image, which I may just want to hop back and forth to and from throughout the multicam at any different point. So how do you do this? So first of all, we're just gonna grab our main piece of footage, which was recording all the way through. And we're just gonna add that to the timeline in the same way we would anything else. And then I'm going to grab the first section of my B camera and we'll just put that on the timeline as well. And this is a really neat trick. You may already know this, but if you just highlight the two clips on the timeline, right click, you can then go to auto align clips and then based on waveform. And providing that both recording audio, it'll just line them up like so. So we've got our A and our B cam on top of each other now, like so. So how do we deal with that camera split? Well, it's actually exactly the same. So I'm going to bring this one down here. We're going to put this roughly at the end, like so. I'm going to highlight those two again, the main one and this little offcut at the end. Right click, auto align, based on waveform, and that'll just slot that in nicely. There was actually a bit of a gap here. If there wasn't a gap, you could literally just stack them on this other video track and then you'd be good to go. Then I've got my third audio, my external audio, which wasn't recording all the way through. So we're just gonna bring this down onto track number three. And I'm gonna do the same thing, just auto align. So I'm gonna give this one a click, give this one a click, holding the control key, right click, auto align, waveform. And then I'll put that in the right place. And then lastly, I've got this image which I want to jump back and forth to and from every now and again. So I'm gonna put that onto a video track number three, stretch that out so it's covering the entire duration of everything that we're doing. So there we go. We've set all this up now so everything's aligned really quick, really easy. We can do what we want. We can add any files. We can deal with multiple files really quickly and easily. So how do you then turn it into a multicam? So go to your media pool. Within the media pool, you should see your timeline. You know it's a timeline because it's got this little icon. If you right click, you've got the option to convert timeline to multicam clip. So I'm going to give that a click and now you can see that little icon has changed and now we've got the multicam icon instead. So now if we grab this multicam clip, drag it onto our new timeline, which will be created and now we have a multicam clip. So then we just multicam it in the same way that we would anything else. So we can either right click on the footage and go to switch multicam clip angle to change sort of our main camera angle. We can do the same for our audio as well. So I'm going to right click on the audio Switch multicam. I'm going to change this to audio three because I know that's my good audio. And now if we just hit play. And that's working perfectly. But then if we want to just do the multicam as we go, if you click on this little icon in the top right hand corner, if you don't see this icon, it may be because you've got the inspector open like so. So just make sure to hide the inspector and then click on these two little squares to make sure that you've got the left preview and the right preview open. And then underneath this left hand preview, there's a little drop down. Make sure that you change that to multicam. And now you can see all of the different multicam that we've set up. Now, one last thing to be aware of underneath your multicam here, you've got these three little icons. This one on the left means we're just going to cut the video. This one in the middle means we'll cut the video and the audio. And this one on the right means we'll just cut the audio. My audio is from this external mic, so I don't want that to change. So I'm just going to make sure I'm on the left 
the video one. So whenever I make any cuts, it will just make cuts to the video itself and not include the audio. So let's say I want this A camera. This is just me brushing my teeth, getting ready to record this here video. At any point, I can give my B camera a click and it will just switch to my B camera instead. And then also, if there's a bit of a lull, if there's a bit of a quiet time, we want to jump back to a photo. We can just give the photo a click and it will jump to this photo. The audio will still be playing. And we can just hop back and forth as we need to. So it's a really cool way of dealing with odd or difficult, complicated multicams, or if you want to add some additional elements into that multicam really quickly and really easily. And that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Any thoughts or feedback, put them down in the comment section below. And if you're new here, you did enjoy the video, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button for me. Thanks ever so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. See ya.